Hey there, in today's video, I am giving you a, a tour of my art studio space, kind of showing you a little bit of behind the scenes. It was a great excuse for me to clean up because let me tell you, I, you know, it gets pretty messy around here. So you are seeing the cleaned up, the, the nicer version. <laughs> and um, just like having guests into your house, it's, it's, it's a good excuse to kind of purge and to organize and to clean up and have things look a little bit better than they typically would. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this tour. And I just wanna say real quick, one of the things I have found helpful is to even, even if you just have one little table, one little space, whatever it happens to be, it's good just to start there. It, you don't need to rush out and buy something new, just use what you have. And I'm a big uh, believer in the goal is to be creative, to find you know a way to, make art or whatever it is that you enjoy doing and just begin versus, you know, worrying about, you know, creating a big, you know, a certain space or buying a certain thing before you can get started. So anyway, without further ado, here, hope you have fun on this studio tour. Okay, here we are entering from the door into a room that my family calls the mezzanine, which most people would call a bonus room. It is a room that sits above our garage. And through the years, it has served a myriad of purposes. And now I have been able to kind of claim it as my own. I recognize that it is a very large space and I have the luxury of, you know, the whole, the whole room, basically. So I'm going to just turn, okay, so over here, I'm going to try to move slowly so no one gets car sick while I'm doing this. My bookshelf over here, my, our, uh, my dog, Coco, often sleeps right there, but often on this chair as well. So, you know, she has both of those spaces. So I, this is actually an office space for myself. I have an eBay business. So this table, I'm just going to walk you around. This table over here is where I do, um, I would say most of my shipping. I have most of my um, shipping supplies and my scale and all the things over here, which have nothing to, which has nothing to do with art other than the art that I have listed on my website is all kind of underneath, tucked underneath here in boxes and, and things like that. So um, so I, I uh, then I just kind of have decorated this space with some old doors that I used at a, um, at a art fair one, one time I did an art fair and said I would never do it again. So then I just, I stick up pieces of art through the years on these doors and around the room. Um, over here, back behind that door is where I store most of my inventory for my eBay business, which again has nothing to do with my art, but I do have a lot of large pieces of art and they are, I keep them kind of stacked in this little area over here because they, they're quite, once I get them done, they're quite, they're large and anyway, there's not, I don't have, you know, there's not a lot of room for them. This little bin over here, I keep stacked with these, I buy these little wood, um, these little wood pieces of things. I keep thinking I'm going to do some kind of project with them. Um, you can see I get them at the Goodwill and I have not yet. So that's my next goal is maybe to do, figure out what I want to do with all these little wood pieces. I keep, you know, ribbons and stash of, um, I love old books. So I have the shreds. I shred a little old books and I use that as filler for things. Um, over here, I just, this is a, um, I was very big into kind of crafts and different things. I'm gonna see if I can pull one down. And I used to do these, um, here, I'll set it right here and kind of show you these little, they were book covers and then I punched uh, quotes into them and kind of collaged the back. So anyway, that was a project I used to do. And then I keep um, on more, you know, uh, business supplies and then my kind of different wrapping papers and things. I love to find like the color of this is just, I love that color. It's, I find old, um, I'm sure it was like used at a school, elementary school or something. And I also use old um, for wrapping, uh, you know, wallpaper, stamp, you know, things like that. So anytime I can find uh, old paper to use, I, I always jump on it um, because I just, I love using it. So over here, um, I can see I have taken old doors these tables are made out of putting, um, Ikea sells these, these legs and you can kind of screw them onto, I've made old, these old doors into um, tables. So um, yeah, and underneath those are all, okay, I once got on a real tangent and ordered like um, so many canvases, 
So those are the boxes of canvases. You will see them throughout. And then here's some little uh, mini canvases. I've been trying to do some work on like four by fours and I showed that in one of my videos. Over here is a bin of like little pieces that I've made. These are actually were uh, made from old book covers and I have, um, you know, painted them and then actually put um, a wax, a wax sealant on those. So um, not cold wax, but encaustic medium is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, so I keep a lot of little things there. And then in this bin, I keep, oh, just all kinds of things that I, papers that I work on. And then I, I make use either use for collage pieces or for cards. And then over here are pieces that are more, I don't know, a little, they're like on harder surfaces. So it's, it's tougher to um, collage with. So I tend to, you know, keep painting them. Like this one has a lot of layers. So or it's been already glued to something. So then I use those more for cards. And I keep this stack of paint over here because that is the color that I use to paint the edges of my canvases. And that way it doesn't get mixed up with my other paint. I use the same exact color every single time. And this door here, I put a piece of glass over it because as you can see, these old doors have, you know, they kind of have a ridge that goes down. And so it's not flat. Um, and like I you know, said, I, you know, like it's, it's actually nice to work on a completely flat surface when I need to. So this space over here often is cleared off and I can work, I can work there. These are all my, all my art journals that I'm working in currently. Um, I keep a stash of book paper here so that when I clean my brush, my paintbrush off, I have actually, you know, pa paper ready to go. Also, I, you know, do that in my, my art journal as well. These are all the different mediums that I use. Over here are actually colors. And this is an old drawer. I just, I love you finding old things, you know, like here's another little old drawer that I, I house that in. These are colors actually that I don't use as much and I have them kind of stuck off to the side. I do occasionally need a pop of color, but I keep the brighter colors over here. And this old dresser was actually my grandfather's dresser in his home. It was my mother's when she was a child. And I guess I'm a little sentimental, so I keep it and I have all kinds of different supplies in it. On top of the dresser, I keep Cards that I have made, um, sometimes I'm in art walks and different things, and I like to have cards pre ready to go uh, for that so that I can sell those, you know, because a lot of people aren't going to buy your art, but they will buy a card. So on this side over here, oh, well, uh, let's go down here. So down here, this is a stash of old books um, that I just keep collecting because I use the pages and sometimes I use the actual book, um, obviously. And then down below here are just pads of different types of paper, I'm kind of a paper hoarder um, because I come from the, I, I used to make cards and um, I still do, but I used to really make cards. That's all I did. And so I, I have a hard time getting rid of a lot of the craft supplies from that era and a big tub of modeling paste. Okay. So under here, I guess I should show you. Okay. This is getting tricky. Um, it's kind of tight here. Sorry about that. So these are just different supplies that I use. This is actually fabrics, a bin of fabrics that I use for um, collage and different things like that. I have a, a cutter, um, you know, a bin of glues and tapes, a bin of like ephemera th pieces. Um, I actually have a bin of craft paint that I sometimes use. And then a bin of, um, you know, paper that has already in book spines and different things that I use. This is actually a box of pre-folded greeting cards or you know white that I use to make uh cards and then this is just a little a little stash of tags and labels and and things that I can use if I send if someone buys one of my art pieces then I usually send them something uh in the mail okay so here is uh the table that I work from most of the time I keep my um my pastels, my old pastels and my soft pastels here, along with my, the big blocks of um, Derwent charcoal and graphite. I like to use old um, containers. So, you know, here's like a tackle box and just um, whenever I can find something old, I just, I, I just feel like it's adds so much character and um, a lot of fun, at least for myself in um in how i store and you know take care of all the supplies so there you go that is how my table where all the things are 
held. Okay, so around to the side here, I'll back up a little bit. Uh, I guess you can't really see that. Um, these are the large canvases that I work on. Um, yeah, some of them are like three feet by four feet. And so then I work on those over here on this big wall here. My husband made a, um, like, uh, a Nicholas Wilton, I don't know if you follow him, you should. He is a really great artist and he gives lots of tips and runs classes and all these things. Well, one of his tips was if you, if you had a wall is to put nails X amount apart. Anyway, my husband did it for me. So now I can just work directly on the wall. I don't need to work on an easel. And this is a set of five that I'm currently working on. I'm really stuck. I actually started it a few months ago and I'm like, I'm going to put those back up and just force myself to add some more paint. I like to work in threes and fives if I can. And so um, that's those gals. And anyway, and here's a lot of the large um, canvases that I have. Okay, so this little, these little bins here, these old bins, sorry about that shadow. Um, obviously, I've got my tripods over here. These hold like, you know, backup supplies. So in here is, you know, some of the mediums that I don't use, I might have tried. I actually sometimes, if I hit an, a, a garage sale or a state sale or a thrift store that has even some somewhat used supplies, a lot of times I will buy them just to try them out because I feel like that's an inexpensive way to actually do that. My, I have my um, my uh, tripods here. I forgot to show you this little thing down here. <laughs> Everyone has I know uses this little IKEA these IKEA bins, which are awesome, and I keep different supplies in another little tin bin and, and um, you know, washi tape and things like that, that, you know, a drawer full of punches and things. So super handy to have. And then as you can see more canvases back there, cause I went on a canvas buying craze. Okay, over here are the, um, the Ikea bins that I use to store my paint when I'm, especially when I'm working here on this wall. So if I'm working at my desk over here, then I will, I'll come and grab some colors and take them over in that area and then they get spilled around. But I like to have them over here. I work on top of this old, I put all my paint on top of this old um, chair, stool. And then um, I have a tray that I kind of keep on top of it. And so it just is handy and it's at the right height for me. So I have two uh, bins that I keep, kind of supplies that I work a little larger, like the brushes, the brushes over here are larger and uh, maybe uh, have a long handle just kind of because I'm working larger, you should, you know, have obviously larger supplies. I have my smaller brushes over here, right there. So I think that's about it. Um, I do have this little stash down here. I've got all these little nooks and crannies. This little stash of paint or um, just random paints I throw in there. And when I'm feeling like my my art products, my art supplies are too precious or too expensive, I'll go reach in there. I'm just like, okay, these don't matter. And then in this little bin drawer, drawers, I keep leftover paint, not leftover paint, actual full, uh, bottles of paint that I can use later. And this is like a little, um, I've been taking these classes where, where people are doing like this really cool stitches. And so I've been doing a little bit of the, the stitching too, which has kind of been fun. So I have a little basket of that. Down underneath there it are my reference photos. And I do have a camera. I have, I've stopped, kind of stopped using my good camera. I just use my phone now, so for everything. And so anyway, I'm gonna back out, just give you an overview. If there's something I missed, hopefully I didn't. I think that's pretty much it. Um, anyway, that's my art studio in a nutshell. And I hope you enjoyed this tour.